I'm Liz Klimek. I'm the Planetarium Manager here at the South Carolina State Museum. So, want to see the Perseid meteor shower this week? Well, here's what you need to do. So first, in the wee hours of the night, somewhere around 3, 4 a.m., you want to find a nice dark sky site far from city lights where you have a clear, unobstructed view of the northeastern part of the sky. Now, you don't need a telescope or a pair of binoculars, but you do need a fair bit of patience, maybe a comfy blanket, and maybe even a bit of bug spray. So, if you gaze high in the northeast towards the constellation Perseus, you won't see meteors raining down once every second, but you should see roughly one every minute. Now, the peak of the shower isn't until 4 a.m. on August 13th, but you should be able to see meteors anytime this week, roughly that time of night. So, I'm Matthew Whitehouse, the observatory manager here at the State Museum. You might be wondering about good places to go see the Perseids. So, as we said a minute ago, you do need a dark location. Here in the middle of the city, it's actually too bright a sky to see a really good view of the Perseids. If you go out to Congaree National Park, out to the campground there, that's a nice a dark sky and it's a pretty open sky. That would be a good place to see the Perseids. Other possibilities would be uh, Lake Murray, out at the far end of Lake Murray, far away from Columbia. Or if you happen to be taking a late summer vacation up to the mountains around Asheville, and you go up the Blue Ridge Parkway up to Mount Mitchell, that would be a beautiful place to see the Percy. It's a very dark sky there. Or if you're on one of our more remote beaches like Edisto Island State Park, another great place to see the Perseids. So this year is a special year because there's no moon, which means that the sky is going to be really dark. No moonlight to get in the way of our view of the Perseids. So we hope for clear weather and happy meteor watching.